My name is Sindhuja. I'm an architect, I'm a writer, and I'm into illustration. Uh, so, uh, when I was dur uh, during the lockdown, when I was feeling low, that's when I really got into writing. And uh, I've written poetry, and I also came up with this book. I'll be reading a short piece from it. Uh, so, before that, I have a poetry. This piece is called I Wonder. I wonder. I've been on a therapist's couch and I ponder over her chair's looks, solid and straight back, not as cushiony as my seat. I think, how does it feel? Is it pleasant at all? I've been on a therapist's couch, I still find comfort in it. And I often wonder if she has occupied somebody else's, if she still finds comfort in it, or if she finds it in a journal, like I sometimes do. I've been on a therapist's couch, not to wonder, sad, late, and cried too also fidgeted with the loose threads hanging at the seams of its armrest, probably the teamwork of all her clients, other unknown faces with stories. I've been on a therapist's couch and never have I spoken more, and never have I heard, felt heard more. I wonder if my invisible baggage that weighs heavier than my bills now lies on her shoulders, how strong they must be. I've been on a therapist's couch and these thoughts never leave my lips. I wonder if she has such things occupying her brain space, also never leaving, but we don't have that kind of a relationship. My currently readjusting shoulders remind me they are reached freedom. No wonder when the hair is up, I walk away feeling lighter and I've been on a therapist's couch, so I don't carry the guilt or shame home. Thank you. Um, so, I'm reading one piece, uh, I called it Those Green Eyes. I'm sorry, you can't deliver your babies inside the house. I'm really sorry babe, no matter how much you plead, you just can't. I say, putting up a firm facade, although I'm not feeling so sure internally. She pleads, walking back and forth between me on the front stoop and the makeshift space I've set up for her. I sold the idea to her a week earlier, but she retweeted me a poor real estate agent a terrible design. The latter part hurt me, a licensed architect, the most. Now she checks it out, contemplating. She's torn between accepting that and making it inside my house. She cries and I sigh, revealing my weak result. I'm sorry, baby. From her lime green irises to hazel specks within them, she stares into my standard issue dull brown ones. Fascinating concept, isn't it? Even though lighter eyes should make one feel comfortable with their transparent nature, one always feels like there's some hidden depth or mystery behind them. Well, in the moment, I don't think about these fascinating theories because she comes far too close to my face. Her paws land gently on my thighs, touching her nose to mine. She seems to drill holes into my brain by gazing eye to eye. Her pupils are narrowing into slits. This overall gesture doesn't strike me as anger but the silent intimacy of it all seems to carry a softness. I'm not sure how it happens or what passes between us, but I feel her voice in my head saying, I trust you. The strangeness of, of this event gives me goosebumps all over. And it's actually, I trust you with an asterisk. Now, this is the part I interpret for myself, one that goes without saying, don't you screw this up. Oh, and did I not mention that I'm talking about a furball? Sorry. So here I am, caught in a spell by this very pregnant, very protective, street smart, orange tabby cat, wondering about the meaning of the first 30 years of my existence. Her stare has me suddenly feeling confident about having a purpose. Parenthood, even if second-handed. This purpose, one that I didn't deem as a part of my future, at least not my immediate future, because considering that I'm filing for a divorce, living with my parents, stuck in a loss zone professionally, and not looking for somebody new. After the last time, my ovaries would rather shrivel than finding a partner who travels that territory with. Um, so I guess I'd expect you guys to, you know, buy the book and read the book. Thank you.